Cary Grant and Tori are taking on tales from Moon Hoax HQ. Conspiracy theorists believe the vacuum in space. The team heads for the George Marshall Space Center in Alabama. Oh my God. These are all vacuum chambers? How great is that? That NASA is opening their doors to let us come in and test this myth. That's how confident they are that this is a myth. All right, close the door. Let's see if we can pull our feelings out. You know, I heard this was actually a fuel tank from a Saturn V rocket that they converted into a vacuum chamber. They're just like us. They recycle their old stuff. And to show us their recycled stuff is NASA vacuum technician Michael Terry. So you know how to use this thing? Oh, yeah. And you're actually going to let us use it? Yeah, I think I will. Let's just uh, be careful. Look what I got, a real moon boot. Wow. Uh, isn't that cool? It that looks just like Adam's. Yeah. So this is an, the actual article. Yep. Now all we have to do is put it on the moon stomper, smash it in some dust, and see if it leaves a footprint. This conspiracy theory is pretty interesting. They say that because there's a vacuum on the moon and there's no water vapor. Does that fit? You feel your toe there? You can't leave a clear imprint from your boot the way they did in the photos from the lunar landing. Just 840 pounds of lunar material returned to Earth from all of the Apollo missions. There's not much of it to go around. So for this test, NASA has given us a lunar regolith simulant. It's manufactured to test equipment that is going to the moon. It's very similar to lunar dust in the fact that each particle is very sharp. Dirt on Earth it has been weathered, so it's very smooth. So this is as close to lunar dust as we can get. That's likely to be the key to this myth, a comparison of the physical properties of sand and lunar regolith. Down here, a footprint in dry sand collapses because the weathered particles can't bind together without water. But up on the moon, other bonding agents are at work, one of which, the irregular and jagged shapes of lunar dust could cause it to stick together in those famous boot prints. Will the irregular shape of lunar regolith in conjunction with the vacuum result in a clean boot print and bust the myth? <laughs> Give it a shot. All right. The rig is ready to take its one-legged step, and the vacuum chamber has been uh, vacuumed. Boot stop, vacuum. Here we go. In three, two, one. Yeah! <laughs> Take that! Yeah! It works! In your face, conspiracy theorist! Yep, it really does work. Moon landing one, conspiracy theorist zero. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. So it seems you can make a clean, stable footprint in a vacuum. Look at that. We made a footprint inside of a vacuum. And there was no water vapor, which is what this conspiracy theory is all about. Well, the gravity is six times stronger on Earth than it is on the moon. So if we made a footprint here, we're definitely making one on the moon. So I guess this conspiracy theory is busted. 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 Now NASA will let us out of here.